The thing is that we desire what we see, right? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia and today we're gonna discuss the gear acquisition syndrome that we all face sooner or later in our lives growing up and especially in photography. Where does it come from? It comes from the fact that when you purchase something that you think is rewarding, the brain gives you some hormones, some serotonin and you feel pleasure. These electric stimulations in your brain make you think that you did the right thing and you want more because it generates pleasure for your good self while the thing itself doesn't give you any pleasure and so if you want to have a look at the human behavior in sociology or in biology or from the historic point of view i'm using mr harari here if you didn't read this book i warmly suggest you do so i'm quoting mr harari here and he says that when things improve expectations balloon and consequently even dramatic improvements in objective conditions can leave us dissatisfied what does it mean it means that even if you just purchase your brand new sony 7a whatever 5 mark thousand and you have all this new technology implemented you have an impressive burst rate a face tracking eye recognition for animals for airplanes for whatever you might need it might leave you dissatisfied because your expectations were so high and now you have to behave at that level so for a pro the thing is really really easy we purchase lenses or a new camera or a new tripod or whatever we purchase when we need it and normally we have the job paying for the gear while if it's just a matter of passion then you might watch product reviews you see all this new technology and you think you want more and you want to purchase it and in the end you don't have time to use it so this is what the gear acquisition syndrome comes in because you see an object you see a new camera a new technology you make the whole movie in your mind thinking that if you switch from micro four thirds to a full frame camera with such lens you will take better photos but reality is that you don't really have time to go out there and shoot the astrophotography that you were willing to do so this gear acquisition syndrome is a bit of a challenge for ourselves and the only solution is to really live in the moment how can you live in the moment I see many millennials out there I'm not judging because everyone has their own path but when you have thousands of lenses two different camera bodies a drone a tripod a gimbal a lot of lights and batteries for everything that you purchased and you have to go around loaded like a donkey well maybe you fell for it so maybe you need to dismantle some of your beliefs and go back to having fewer lenses like this was the case for myself when i switched back to one lens only i purchased something that would enable me to do what i wanted to do and it would also inspire me to do better so before having the leica i was not really focusing on street photography i was mainly focusing on other types of photography and I had all the gear that I needed for that. So I had several zoom lenses, fast enough, a big and sturdy tripod, an additional grip for my Nikon D750, couple of batteries more than needed, lights, flash, reflections, so on and so forth. And then when I downsized to one lens only, with that camera, I started shooting a different way because every camera that you have will inspire you in a different way so we are not a different photographer you are always the same photographer you are just inspired to behave differently and to take different shots different portraits different street photography different black and white different whatever your passion is but the gear is supposed to answer to your needs or to inspire you not the other way around when you are running after new gear that you don't even know what it is about so these are my two cents go out there whatever you want to buy please 
try it before you purchase it otherwise the best camera that you have is the one that you own already unless you face some serious limitations from that camera and then you have to improve your hardware but most of the time it's just a matter of time so a full dedication to your hobby whatever this is music or photography like in our case that would be enough to please you so whatever stimuli you were receiving from your brain after a new purchase you might receive even stronger stimuli if you reach your goals if you have enough time to dedicate to your passions and if you improve your skills rather than your hardware so these are my two cents please let me know down here in the comments if you agree or not or what i'm not seeing that you feel i'm not seeing and if you got any value out of this video please remember to like it share it on your social media subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new videos to come and i guess i will see you later thank you bye bye